There we go. Bit of, bit of filler. We're on a we're on a windy French road. Just in case we don't uh, find out, I suppose. Yeah, you never know. I'm, I'm gonna do some uh, whoa, <laughs> so some steep cornering going on here. Cast dispersions <laughs> on my driving, please. No, it's very good driving. It's okay. It's just a very bendy road. <laughs> so yeah, it's very pretty in France. We're going to Escals. There we go. Coming to the La Plage. Uh, Struan, my best French accent. Yes, indeed. Right, so we've packed up at Struan, La Plage Struan, um, and uh, we head off to the beach. So, yeah, little, nice little car park. Looks like it's free. Hope it's free because we've not paid any money. Find out if your car's there when we get back. I think the beach is this way. Swimming is forbidden, I think. It's not surveilled, is the beach. No swimming. So we better watch the tides. That'll be World War II bunkers, what the but German ones. That's so just heading down the path to the beach. It's a big wide beach, you can tell it's low tide. At least we can see the tide coming in. So yeah. Wondering if those uh, black patches are patches of gold or just random debris. We shall see. So then what's this stuff? Hard. Well, this is rock, isn't it? It's not clear. Okay. I wonder if this is uh, green sand. Would that be under the belt? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to tell, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely not gold. Okay, let's, let's head towards uh, that huge, great big party of people looking at the cliff. Doing like a... <laughs> There's some really nice grey stuff here. I think this might be part of the grey chalk rather than the, uh, the gold. The gold is maybe covered up by the beach. Great chalk. Not dark enough for gulp. Yeah, I'm gonna head off towards those cliffs over there, I think. First ammonite sort of looking thing there. I think that's an ammonite, probably a slim back here. Might have a little chisel actually. Practice. Yeah, seeing a fair few negatives so far, so that is the negative of an ammonite just there, I think. I'll definitely see the ribs there. So there's a bit one in that block. Seen plenty of uh, smaller negatives. But so far, no sign of any full ammonites. So I'll keep looking. Again, it takes a while to get your eye in on these things. So, yeah, I'm just having a look to see what's what. Again, oh, another, another negative there. There goes my hammer on my toe. So, yeah, okay. I'll keep looking. Lots of signs. Oh, quite slippy this chalk. To walk on. Could be a little bit of gold over there. I'm not percent sure. We'll probably have a look in a bit. Search this bit of chalk first. A bit of coral there. That's a. Uh, Weird, like brain coral type stuff. Looking again, perfect little negative there. Wow, They're still hand sized. Yeah, they are here. Keep looking. I'm just in the grey chalk and some really good negatives again. One there, There's one there. Seen anything else? Again, a bit of a bigger one there. Another 
Plenty to see, nothing to collect. So, we're not finding a great deal, uh, but we've uh, had a good look. Uh, there's a little get down just, uh, just here, and we've been all the way around this point. Uh, and we've been to the point around the corner there. One, uh, one little ammonite, which I think is a some sort of schlurm back here. Get that to uh, focus. But yeah, not uh, not much else unfortunately. So yeah, we're going to keep looking on the way back, and uh, hopefully we'll get the eye. In. Oh, just a few birds. First. Uh, First decent chunk of ammonite, and it is a chunk. Look at that! Wow! Oh, what a lump! So, uh, you know, you can imagine that's going to be two and a half, three foot wide. Huge! Yeah, you can tell it's an ammonite. It's got all the all the lovely suture marks on there. Yeah, big one, but not full. Never mind. Oh, might have found our first ammonite. Just in there. Quite by accident. See if we can get it out. So I've taken it back as much as I dare. It's my first one, so I'm going to take that to be prepped. There's a bit missing there, but it can be restored. But yeah, I can't split that down anymore. The Cablo fossils, the Cablo here, guys, they make it look easy. But <laughs> yeah, my first one, so it's going in the bag. So unfortunately, we arrived uh, just uh, before low tide at Cablone, um, so we didn't have a huge amount of time to explore the, the, the chalk beaches um, <clears throat> so we went for some lunch which is always a good idea and then afterwards we made our way to some uh, Jurassic exposures uh, where the Kimmeridgian outcrops uh, to have a look see if we could find anything interesting there. Okay we've come to Audra Cells. This is a Kimmeridge location. Just looking to see what's in it. Definitely looks like uh, potentially Kimmeridge clay. But whether we'll find anything or not, who knows? There's certainly some little beds and stuff here with things in, but I have no idea what they are. Certainly like clay. Yeah, if we find anything, we'll get back to you. I think there's a good possibility we won't find anything, but who knows? Yeah, there's plenty of shells in that stuff, whatever they are. Got loads of bioturbated uh, sandstone. Got shelly as well. That little tap open and see if there's oat in it. Yeah. Too far yeah. gone to be bothered with it. First ammonite. It's a fairly decent one. But it's well worn. So yeah. Could have a small one in there. Give it a bash. Never know. Just a couple of more meters along and a nice big keel. Yeah. See if we can extract it. Oh, I'm going to try and find one myself. Kind of wish I brought a chisel now. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah, another imprint. Badly preserved though, that's the only thing. Looking terrible so far.
it's very soft. Give it an evidence round there, is there? Uh, I think. Try and pop it and see if, it, see if it'll pop. There's a crack round there, so you never know. Yeah, it's coming. Could do with a <laughs> could do with a straight chisel really, couldn't you? Are you going to do gamble? I'm going underneath it. I think I'm going to have to do. It's going for it. Not <laughs> something happening. So deep in the bloody pebbles. Yeah, it could be uh, three foot deep. Yeah. Unless that, yeah. Unless the uh, ammonite pops up. Very well preserved, I mean, I don't know, do you? Sort of smacks of that one we had a go at earlier. Yeah, oh well. well. Went some loose up. Please grab a look.
Right?